With regard to our short-term uh, spending issue, we all know the House this week will be uh, working on sending us a continuing resolution that will substantially reduce uh, spending and we believe hit the 2008 levels. Uh, we intend to try to move that in the Senate. Now that we've had an opportunity over the last day to look at the President's budget, uh, it is clear that it does not rise to the challenge. And it doesn't rise to the very challenge that President Obama has laid out. He's been eloquent about the problem, and yet his solutions don't address the problem. As every American family has had to face over the last few years, every American business has had to make tough decisions and live within their budget, uh, we need to do that as well. We do not have a more urgent need than reigning in the federal deficit. We are right now discussing what to do about about 12 percent of, of the deficit, and that's important. But the President missed the opportunity in his State of the Union address. He's missed the opportunity in his budget. He has an opportunity now, and the nation has an urgent need for him to challenge us all across the budget to deal with the federal debt. This is a missed opportunity by the President because uh, we have big problems, big challenges ahead of us. Everybody knows that the entitlement issue, the entitlement reform issue, is the one that's going to achieve the big savings in the budget. Uh, the President appointed a debt commission, didn't embrace uh, their recommendations, and didn't include those things in, in this budget. And it's unfortunate. We continue to look for ways to make it easier and cheaper to create private sector jobs in this country. And this is a budget that's going to make it harder and more expensive to create private sector jobs.